Well, I'm going to do this in layman's terms. It's a very technical uh, operation going on 5,000 feet below the surface. Uh, uh, basically, the, uh, the diamond wire saw is a very, very sharp saw intended to try and get a clean cut right at the top of the, uh, of the lower marine riser package. And the cleaner that cut is, there are three or four different types of devices that you can put over. The cleaner the cut, the tighter the seal we can make on it. Partially through that cut, the saw got stuck, not unlike if you were sawing through a piece of wood and every once in a while it binds up. The question is, can they move the, the riser pipe to free it up and continue, or might they have to bring another saw down? And that, they're looking at that right now, it's, it's as we speak. I can certainly appreciate uh, the urgency and the desire on everybody's part to have answers. Uh, the reality is that we want the right answers. We want information that we can trust. And many of these research cruises that are underway are finding interesting features, but to see a signal of something detected by an instrument on board a ship gives you a sense that something is there, but it doesn't tell you what. And it's really important to be able to collect samples of the water, hence the attention to being able to take discrete samples at different depths in the water column, to take those back to shore at the end of the cruise and then have them analyzed uh, in a laboratory setting. So it's only relatively recently that those ships have been underway doing this massive sampling. We're beginning to get results in, and we are, uh, I think, getting very close to be able to talk about not just what each individual cruise might be seeing out there on the water, but what the, what the integrated pattern is. And that's, in fact, what we would like to know.